so naturally we're back out here at Barrett Mini because I have a special edition Mini Cooper I have to share with you. You all know what it is, so let's get over to it. So yes, this is a 2021 Mini Cooper S convertible sidewalk edition. This is the second iteration of the sidewalk edition. The first one was in 2008 to end the R52, which was the last of the supercharged. And this one is new for 2021 and it is a pretty car. It's finished in deep Laguna metallic. It has some black accents on the gas cap, tail light rings, badging, headlight rings, bonnet stripes unique to this special edition model, a special edition mini yours lounge leather interior with yellow stripe and blue piping, unique dash trim, these new scissor spoke wheels which are unique to the sidewalk edition mini unique sidewalk edition scuttle plates sidewalk edition door sill plates and even the interior trim is done in blue and it comes loaded with a lot of features you would find in iconic trim mini coopers specifically touchscreen navigation the new digital dash heads up display it also has harman kardon sound system but perhaps the best thing about this car is the convertible top, which is a unique pattern for the sidewalk edition. And it's a really unique pattern. And it's something unique to this car. You will not find that convertible top on any other Mini Cooper S convertible. You will only find it on the Sidewalk Edition. But naturally, this car is a Cooper S. And in this configuration, it is a very special Cooper S. It is just a beautiful car. You might notice the Deep Laguna metallic paint. That is a blue color that's unique to the Sidewalk Edition. You will not be able to get this color on any other Mini, which is kind of a shame because I think it's a beautiful color. I would love to see it on other Minis. And I don't think you're going to get the scissor spoke wheels on any other Mini as well, which means that these are exclusive to this Sidewalk Edition, at least for now. I imagine that if they do decide to keep these wheels around, it'll probably be for the 2022 model year. Now, of course, you have the foldable wind deflector so you don't mess up your hair. And of course, the feature I could not live without is the manual transmission. Six-speed manual, it's perfect. You might also notice that they've started adding USB-C ports in most of the minis for 2021 model year. So this is probably going along with the Apple iPhone. If you have an iPhone 11 or a Pro, 11 Pro, you might notice that it uses a USB-C cable to plug into the block that would go into the wall. Well this allows you to do that as well plug that in right there and you're good to go now of course being a special edition it does come with touchscreen navigation so you got your navigation right there great system very nice as you can see roads are looking pretty good except for some construction right there but if we go back to the main menu there's other things so you got your communication media your notifications this is telling me the door is open and i'm on fuel reserve mini connected your concierge mini messages anything you even get alexa in here apparently you can also get the weather and the news if you have an app equipped as such you can also get wiki local and then just regular mini infos, currently no information. But there's a lot of stuff in here, including the openometer, to keep you entertained while you're parked. Over here, of course, is the new digital dash with analog, actually, RPM gauge right here. There's an analog needle in there. But everything else is digital. So your digital fuel gauge, which is much easier to read than on previous generations, your digital speedometer, which is, of course, easy to read, obviously. And all your information is pretty much there, including it looks like the openometer is down right here, so it actually tells you how long the car's roof has been open. And then, of course, we have the heads-up display, which gives all your information there as you need it. Speedometer, 
your miles per hour and your and what the actual speed is on the road that you're on so nice system there now of course we have Harman Kardon so you have speakers in the a pillars you also have speakers right here you have speakers pretty much all over the car in fact I think the Harman Kardon system in these cars has at least 12 speakers so that's a lot of speakers and two of them are mounted under the seats. So that's pretty cool. Now under the bonnet, of course, we have the same 189 horsepower, four cylinder turbocharged mini motor. This is in every single Cooper S. Great little motor, nice and torquey, very fun to drive. I have it in my car, I love it. It's a great engine. And of course, because this car is brand new, it is meticulous under here. Now the thing about Mini, when they do special editions, is they try to incorporate little Easter eggs, little details that are kind of just unique to the car. So aside from the dash trim and a few other little things here and there, you notice these special sidewalk edition shields on the lounge leather. You'll notice the sidewalk edition patterning in the leather headrest with blue in the background, so that's pretty cool. And you'll notice the same sidewalk edition pattern on these little buttons on the seats, which is another neat little accent that is something you do not see on the rest of the on the rest of the minis. You also get a sidewalk edition badge on the steering wheel where you would normally have the blackjack or the JCW John Cooper Works badge. So that's another cool little accent right there. This yellow stripe here is a neat accent. And you'll notice the blue piping. All in all, the sidewalk edition is really nicely done, and I think Mini hit the nail on the head here with this one. This is a great configuration. It's a nice spec. It's special edition, so it's unique to this car. You're not gonna see these features on every other car, and you might not see the packaging done this way on every other car. Sometimes the special editions, they tend to put together packages from different trim levels that fit the best that fit best with this car so this one is loaded pretty much it has the touchscreen navigation it has the digital dash has heads up display has Harman Kardon lounge leather interior and a manual transmission this is a great little convertible and I would love to have this in my driveway and I'm sure you would love to as well and they are special editions, so pretty much they're not going to be around again they had an automatic transmission one here at this dealership and this one's a manual, so these are the only two that they got, and these are the only two they're gonna ever have. So if you want one of these, you're gonna have to do some hunting and go find one. So naturally, I did not take this car out for a drive because for all intents and purposes, this is a Cooper S convertible. And this is just basically a special edition package. So there's nothing different about the performance. There's nothing different about the handling of the car. It handles and drives just like a regular Mini Cooper S convertible, so there's nothing inherently special in the performance aspects of the car. But in the cosmetics, that's where things are different. And this is a beautiful car. It's really nicely set up. It's the, the color's great. The trim options are really good. The stripes are really nice. The wheels really work with this car. So it's a nice special edition convertible, and it's something that if you want to buy it, you're going to have a pretty rare car. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video on the Sidewalk Edition Mini Cooper S Convertible. If you want to watch more videos on Mini Cooper Convertibles, go check out the playlist at the end of this video. And as always, before I let you go, I'm just going to remind you that life is too short to drive a boring car. So drive a Mini. I'll see you all in the next video.